and I am Sergio Peretta, and we're performing a scene from Chapter 2. Come on, Leo. You have good marriage. I know. Really? I'll invite you to sleep in our bedroom one night. You can listen. I'll tell you, George. The thing about marriage is that it's relentless. Now, if I could just get a two-week leave of absence every once in a while. I used to get them all the time in the army. I always came back. Uh, I don't know. This was just different for you and Barbara. To tell you the truth, I thought you were two a little crazy. What's what made it work for you? Uh, Marilyn has no craziness. No uncharted territories. You know, I'm sitting there with a map of places I've never been, and she won't even pack an overnight bag. So we stop growing, stop changing, and we stay. A comfortable little house in the country. Oh, well, another 30, 35 years and I'll be over, right? I told someone I feel better. What the hell is it you feel so wonderful about? You're an interesting man, Leo. I'll just get to know you someday. But in the meantime, there's this girl I've met. You gotten out with her? You like her? I like her, Leo. She's extraordinary. Good. You know, I only talked to her for about, uh, ten minutes. But she has had this certain sparkle, uh, vitality about her. I knew she'd interest you. She more than interests me, Leo. I'm crazy about her. I don't blame you. If I was married, I'd be usually the punch. That's terrific. Terrific. Well, I knew once you let yourself open, you'd be able to meet some women you could relate to. Leo, I, I'm in love with her. I'm crazy in love with her. Well, I mean, it's possible. I hope so. She seems very nice, very bright. Marilyn tells me there isn't a person in the world who hasn't met her who doesn't like her. No, Leo, you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm going to marry her. Look, uh, after things slow down and you're back to your old self again, I would love to see that happen. We're getting married on Monday. Monday's a terrific day to get married. You beat the weekend traffic. Seriously, George, I'm glad you like the girl. We took the blood test. I got the license. Monday morning, Judge Ira Markowitz's office. I'd like you to be there. Be aware. <laughs> Come on, Leo, you heard me. Me and Jane are getting married on Monday morning. Wait, wait, wait. Back that up again. Play that. Are you telling me you're marrying a girl for I met for 12 seconds at a restaurant? I'm marrying Jenny Malone. Oh, good. You know both names. You must have had a chance to talk to her. I've lived with her 20 hours a day for the past two weeks. I know everything I want to know about her. You've known her for two weeks. You know, I eat eggs that are boiled for two weeks. What the hell is two weeks? What happened to her vitality, her sparkle? Well, can't you still see she's sparkling in six months? <laughs> six days, six months. What the difference does it make? I, knew, I only knew Barbara eight weeks, and the marriage lasted for 12 years. George, you're in a position to make a decision like this. You're just very vulnerable right now. Wait a minute, Leo, you know me. I'm not self-destructive. I'm not going to make a decision just to satisfy a whim that will hurt me and Jenny. I love her. I want to be with her. I want to make this commitment. Well, it's my fault. After I introduced you to Bambi, you were ready for anyone. Leo, it was the same thing when I met Barbara. I could have married her after the third day. I knew then that she was the most special girl in the world. Well, it's 12 years later and... Barbara's gone, and suddenly, miraculously, this wonderful girl pops into my life. I don't know. Maybe it is crazy. You always said I was. But I'm miserable every minute I'm not, away, uh, I'm not around her. And she feels the same way. I think marrying her is a class idea. Leo. Okay, okay. What is she, Cinderella? She's going to leave at midnight. Wait, you wait six weeks for a dentist appointment, and that's with pain in your mouth. Have dinner with us tonight. You and Marilyn. Look, you know, I really don't think a couple breaking up is the best company for a couple starting out. Call her. Tell her. Maybe being around will give you both a chance to work things Why out. Why can't you accept the fact that we're separating? Why can't you accept the fact that me and Jenny are getting married? Because my separation makes sense. You're getting crazy. Crazy. Have it your own way. I'd still like you and Marilyn to be there. Look, George, 
I've always steered you straight every once in a while, okay? And you've had the, you know, the talent and the discipline I've always admired. Once in a while, I've steered you straight, and I don't think you've ever regretted it. Wait a couple weeks, okay? Let her move in with you. Wait, she's not a Mormon or anything, is she? <laughs> Leo, she'll wait if I ask her. Ask her. She'll move in if I ask her. Ask her! Please, George, ask her. Monday morning, criminal court spoken. I'm wearing a blue suit. Wait a month for me. I'm not marrying you! <laughs> wait a month for me and I'll wait a month for you. I'll uh, work things out with Marilyn and if you will just do the same for me. Leo, we're not trading baseball cards. This is my life. That's your marriage. Okay, look, I know I'm not the best marriage counselor. The toll tinker in Lincoln Tunnel is more qualified than me. All I'm saying is slow down a bit. You know, sleep on it. Take 12 Valiums and wake up in a month. <laughs> you know, we're wasting a lot of time, Leo. This entire conversation is my engagement period. Would you mind if I talk to her? Jenny? Yeah, would you mind if I talk to her? I certainly would! Are you afraid she might agree with me? Thank you. Thanks.